This man has just been handed what some call the second most powerful job in Washington, chief of the White House staff. William Daly is a banker and veteran Democratic operative chosen by President Barack Obama to take the helm of a revamped administration. Few Americans can boast the breadth of experience that Bill brings to this job. Public service is an honorable calling, and I am pleased to answer your call. Daly not only chaired Al Gore's campaign for president, he was Commerce Secretary under Bill Clinton. But since 2004, he's been Midwest chairman of J.P. Morgan Chase. The president's hoping that Daly can use his Wall Street ties to help improve the administration's strained relations with big business. Of course, those ties are controversial, since Daly's bank was among those that took billions in bailout cash. Indeed, the liberal group MoveOn.org called Daly's choice troubling, but a top Republican was pleased. This is the guy who's actually been out in the private sector, been a part of business. Uh, frankly, my first reaction is that sounds like a good idea. Daly's selection may well be the headline in a New Year's shakeup that's also seen senior advisor David Axelrod announce he's leaving and press secretary Robert Gibbs saying he plans to follow early next month, which means Obama has more new faces to introduce as he gears up for his State of the Union speech. And I am absolutely confident that we will have a great team that's equal to America's task uh, in the years to come. With Daly, Obama's once again tapping his Chicago roots. Daly's the younger brother of Mayor Richard Daly, and the man he'll permanently replace in the West Wing, Rahm Emanuel, is busy campaigning to be Chicago's next mayor. But while not an original member of Obama's inner circle, this Chicagoan will serve as chief presidential gatekeeper and will set the tone for the balance of Obama's term. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.